What do we gain when we go on a dare in our purpose pursuits? We are daring the impossible stuff. I uh, can never get enough of the quote by coach Robert Agrov and I quoted that quote yesterday that in order to aspire, in order to inspire leaders to make a difference in their world, the breakthrough is to coach leaders to declare an impossible future that they are passionately caring about. An impossible future is one that cannot be achieved based on history and can only be realized by leaders reinventing not just the organizations, but themselves. When we do this, when we dare the impossible future and we are passionate about it and we dare it, what do we gain? What do we stand to gain? Let us start discussing that in these episodes. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. So as it we, as it is, the quote that is just messing me up is that quote of the impossible future by coach Robert Hargrove. He goes ahead and tells us that the aspiration to become a masterful coach who can help leaders realize the impossible future and make a difference, whether in the life of one person or all humanity, is one of the highest aspirations that of what it is to be a human being one of the biggest aspirations of being a human being is to aspire for the impossible future in other words we are more committed i know we are committed to the present yes and we can do whatever it is that we can do because the most important time right now is today because in today's world it is in today's time that we have the factory of our dreams but being committed to the impossible future and making sure that you are daring that impossible future is a very great prospect if we are not daring anything it means we are doing the same old same old and nothing is exciting nothing is being created no impact is being made we're not thinking of any other thing let me tell you some years back okay not some years back some weeks back some months back i was in the office of one of the greatest chemists this world has ever seen this guy has over seven patents to his name he tells me he tells me that he has a formula for, a formula for creating fuel cutting all these processes of excavation and refinery and it's common all over the place he has got that formula but you know what the culture of the day is impeding that to, to, from happening of course he is doing it in the theory format it has got to be you know put into practical and it's got to be effected and so on but you see that is an example of an impossible future that is a dare right there to dare to change the way the world has ever known about energy creating safe energy clean energy that is not as expensive as the other one that is an impossible future today what do we do and you see the reason why i'm going to that guy 
it is because he is passionate about it it was inherent in him he did not it was automatic it just automatically came out of him he did not go out there and say oh what i want to do is to revolutionize this world by creating this thing and coming up with this these things just came to him even as he was learning and was applying himself in the world of chemistry he is a big time name i'm just going to mention one name his core professor enos you can go and look for the other names elsewhere because there are some things that uh, I'm not supposed to share. I could not have put it better about the impossible future. So the highest aspiration of being a human being is to look for the impossible future and to dare it, which is commensurate into our hearts. For Lawrence it is building life signatures universities creating schooling or education that is papa's best that is my impossible future i did not come to i did not like uh, you know say that i'm going to look for something impossible to do it just came on me dawned on me it is my papa's and now it's an impossible future how passionately am i giving myself to it am i daring or am i just regressing so that i can grow chronically towards it i can grow you know simmering towards it or can i go on a serious dare and just create a curriculum out of it and start teaching people and start creating and building schools and end up with a university when we do these things there are several opportunities that come to us and there are several advantages and i want to talk about one advantage of doing a dare even as we've started winding down on this episode we're going to talk about five advantages that you accrue when you go on a dare in your purpose pursuit today we'll just mention one you grow number one when you go on a dare you grow growth is not default I'm not talking about growing in stature in terms of uh, your body growing you becoming tall and uh, your voice breaking entering adolescence you know being able to give birth I'm not talking about that that's automatic we don't talk about that I mean it's automatic we 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 don't talk about we're talking about you growing in stature in terms of your purpose growth is never automatic that kind of growth is not automatic a friend of mine called Ngina Otiende of uh, the fame of um, intentional today as a blog and also she is a coach to the married people married women and of late she's been talking about abuse in marriage you know what she says she says that growth is not the default mode for human beings but drifting is that's it drifting is the default in other words if there is no dare what are we doing we are drifting in life and you know what drifting is drifting is not growing it's regressing people normally say oh i'm stagnant you ain't stagnant you are regressing you know why you're regressing first of all you are getting late on time because this world is always on time is always moving it's always advancing so if you are not daring you are regressing secondly regression is done when you are not growing it's the opposite you are not going to stand stagnant there is nothing like stagnancy the whole i am stagnant i'm not been growing you've not been stagnant you've been regressing it's just that you've not been noticing it one of the th- people that i i quoted i uh, interviewed on this episodes professor kasenene he says it's easy for people to hurl insults at him when he tells them that you should not be eating sugar and all these things and and salt and so on because when i, I think it wasn't him maybe it was someone else but they say that the trouble with trouble of health and so on is that it's not immediate the repercussions are not immediate when you eat into that pie you eat this, this refined foods the repercussions they are not immediate they ain't so you will think that i am stagnant i am just where i used to be no you ain't these things are chronic they happen behind the scenes like a submarine you don't see that thing but it's there that's what happens so if you're not going to be going on a dare to dare the impossible remember the quote that we've been you, you've been using far much better it is to dare mighty things to win glorious triumphs even though checkered by failure than take rank with those poor spirits who neither enjoy nor suffer much because they live in the great twilight that neither knows victory nor defeat that's what we've been saying you've got to dare if you're going to grow 
if you're not you're not going to grow then you're not going to dare so I, I, if i look at myself right now what have i dared the past one year if there is no dare i haven't grown okay probably i'm being harsh you can grow chronically and so on but i'm talking generally doing the thing that you're not you you've not been doing if you uh, if you if you and i are pursuing the impossible future we will not attain it by remaining the same being comfortable with our knowledge and our stature what we've always known what we've always experienced we must by all means grow and i cannot be an advisor to rulers and kings and presidents with the same knowledge that i have today if i am daring to be an advisor to the presidents i've got to grow and i've got to dare i must of necessity grow in order to attain that impossible future so growth comes either as the result of a pursuit of a dare or because of the pursuit of the dare but if there is no dare probably there is no growth in my niche and that's what i wanted to talk about today tomorrow we are going to start talking about something else that is an advantage that accrues on us or to us when we go on our dare in our impossible pursuit of purpose or in our pursuit of in, of our purpose doing those things that are impossible the impossible future that we have chosen for ourselves this impossible future varies from one person to another in fact by the way to you it might be an impossible future but to someone else it's lose change that's why i said it is unique it is in the heart it is commensurate to you it is yours you cannot compare the impossible futures of different people but you will know in your heart you will know in your spirit when you're sweating bullets when you're thinking about it when you look at the impossibility there is when you look at the need that i cannot do this alone i, I need to be helped by the divine but the thing is this when you and i go on that particular dare we grow no nothing less nothing more tomorrow we delve deeper stay tuned bye Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh clean and inspiring.